Hi, this is Matt with CustomCardGrills.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to stencil some letters onto some grill mesh. I'm simply starting with a small diamond grill mesh sheet as well as some pre-cut vinyl. If the excess vinyl is not already removed, you'll need to weed that out. I typically use an X-Acto knife to get that done. Please note the center of some letters aren't connected to the outside of the stencil. Next, you'll want to peel the vinyl stencil off of the backing. Sometimes peeling the vinyl off can be a two-person job. You may need to grab a friend to help you. Now we're going to lay the front of the grill onto the sticky part of the vinyl, which is now mirrored backwards, so that when we actually spray this, it'll, it'll come through correctly. Some letters such as O's, B's, and D's, you'll need to manually place the center of that letter into position. Then you just want to firmly press the vinyl down. Make sure it's on there pretty uh, snug. You don't want it to be lifting up when, we, when you spray it. If there's any excess, feel free to fold that around the back part to secure it on. Now it's time to get it painted. For this specific project, I'm using a flat black paint. A few coats should get it done and then a clear coat over top if you like. Once you have the desired paint job done for the stenciled letter or stenciled design that you have, you can now remove the vinyl part from the mesh. What should be left on the mesh is a nice well-defined set of letters or designs that you've stenciled out and sprayed on there. This is a relatively quick, easy, and cost-effective way to add a little personalization to your grill. I hope you like what you saw, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me.